Today is the ninth day of May. And as I've been thinking about this all night, all week, I want Bahamians to do due diligence and do the right thing. I want you all to find out where Betsy from Life with Key Dog is buried and go down there and give respect to Betsy's dog. For all of y'all that the Bahamas government finally brought into Freeport and to Nassau, you see, it's not about y'all. It was never about y'all. If it wasn't for Betsy's dog from Life at Key, y'all would have been locked out of your country. Over six weeks of crying, begging the government of the Bahamas, this FNM government, to come back into your country, you couldn't come back. But thank God for Betsy's dog untimely death. Because you see, if Betsy dog wouldn't have died, y'all would have died in America and where else in the world you're at. To this FNM government, a rich white lady from Life at Key, dog was more priority. You see, Abaconian, Betsy from Life at Key, dog has more priority than the people of Marshaba Abaco. Betsy Dog couldn't stay on the ground one week. Three weeks after Betsy from Life at Key Dog died, the Prime Minister opened up the border to allow Betsy that lives in his constituency to come back and to bury her dog. While the people of Abaco cannot get their loved ones, and the prime minister of this country disallowed the burial of the dead after Hurricane Dorian, nine months in, can be buried. But a dog has more priority than the black citizen of this country. A white lady, dog. I wonder what kind of dog that is. Somebody please tell me what type of dog so that this country would give allegiance to the dog that cause their loved ones to finally come home. So as I started, after y'all come from lockdown, lockout, go find where that dog is buried and say, thank you, sir. Thank you, puppy. Thank you, dog. You see, Betsy and the six others was not allowed to go in a hotel and be fed. They were allowed to go on self-quarantine. Betsy Diggum, when they came in, it was interesting, I tried to get a flight. And they said that, Kai, you have to go and get this COVID-19 test to allow you to fly. I say, you may chuck that long straw down my nose. Yeah, until you get that. And, no, and the thing is, they say that. Okay, I, I'll call my doctor. I call my doctor. He said that the government of the Bahamas is disallowing any private doctor to give you the COVID-19 test. You, Kai, have to go to the government doctor. A clinic somewhere down there in South Beach or wherever it is. I say, I ain't going to no government nothing. For them to kill me? That's never going to happen. But why didn't Betsy Dingham and the six others that were led into the country go to the government doctor once they arrive in this country? They were allowed to go to private doctors. As a matter of fact, they may not even have gone to the doctor. We don't even know what they, uh, if they gone to the doctor. Dr. Dwayne Sands said they look like they didn't have symptoms. Well, I don't look like I got no symptoms. Why somebody got a stick taste uh, 10 feet down in my nostrils for me to travel? And why is it the government is prioritizing that no 
private doctor can give this test. Did Betsy Diggum of Life at Key go to a private doctor? Did Betsy Diggum on arriving to the Bahamas had to go to a government doctor to enter? Did the six others had to go to a government doctor once arrival to make sure that they don't have the COVID-19? Did they go to a private doctor? This is all a question. But behemoths that travel has to go to a government doctor to get the test in order to travel. That is unconstitutional. The law has to be for all. Why does Kai Mills, can I go to a private doctor, have to go to a government doctor to get tested when these people that came in here out the Bahamas never had to do so? I believe Betsy Dingham Dog went to the government doctor. That's why he did. Kai ain't going to no government doctor. They ain't gonna kill me like they killed Betsy Dog. Hell to the no, I ain't going. But it's wrong for there to be two set of laws, two set of rules under this prime minister. Once you're white and you're expatriates and got money, you don't have to go through this. You see all them people that uh, came into the Bahamas, if they have white pigmentation, and their family is well off? You think they're in a hotel? You think they spend lockdown in a hotel? They gone. Only the Negroes. The rules are for Negroes. And Negroes only under this FNM government. Doesn't apply to persons of other pigmentation. Only the Negroes. It's obvious that a dog belongs to a rich white woman of life at key could be laid to rest less than a week, three days after the dog dead, the prime minister opened the country up to what could have been a lady that brought virus into the country and into life at key because of a dog. The dog under this FM government got more priority and the people of Abaco, the dog has been buried with a Christian burial less than one week. I could say this video, I could do this a thousand times so it could resonate throughout the Bahamas, though, to the world that the most honorable prime minister disallowed any Bahamians from entering this country, but a white rich lady from Life at Key. Out of his constituency, dog died and he opened the country up so that she could bury her dog. While the people of Abaco, dead, are still in a trailer like a dog and haven't been buried nine months in. Neither Bohemians was allowed to come to this country until they found out that Betsy dog allowed the airways to be open. And if it wasn't for the dog, where would our people be? But I want that same spirit of burying the dog to resignate to the most honorable prime minister that our people is twice and three times more important than a dog. How dare he allowed a dog to be buried in this Bahamas before the people of Abaco. Nine months in, our loved ones have not been buried. Today is the ninth day of May, 2020. Our loved ones came to their demise on the 1st of September, 2019. And as of the date, the ninth day of May, our dead loved ones are still in the trailer when Betsy of Life at Key, a white rich lady, dog, has been laid to rest. Hallelujah. 
What a country. The old people used to say, what a time we're living in. But I'm going to say like the old spirits will say, tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. So you see, Kai is still taking him at his word. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus and put no trust in this FNM Prime Minister, the Member of Parliament for North Abaco, Darren Enfield, the Member of Parliament for North Abaco, James Albury, put no trust in them because as far as they can sign, Betsy of Life at Key, a white rich lady, dog, has more priority than the loved ones of Abaco that die after Hurricane Dorian that are still nine months later in a trailer, locked up and locked away. Kai cares. It can't be right. It ain't right. And it shall never be right. You can never, ever try to make a first impression the second time. This government is on their ninth time, nine months, and they haven't impressed the people of Abaco yet on nothing, and especially the burial of our dead. Kai Case, you're live with Kai on WCAY.